First, Sky News can reveal New South Wales Police is monitoring a Sydney mosque that is hosting a commemorative service for a Lebanese terrorist killed in fighting with Israel. On Christmas Eve, Hezbollah, which is a designated terrorist organisation in Australia, announced the death of six operatives between December 21st and 23rd, according to the Israeli Mir Ahmed Intelligence and Terrorism Information Centre. Now, one of these operatives was Hussein Ibrahim Salame, also known as Nasser who comes from South Lebanon. He was reportedly the 124th Hezbollah fighter to be killed since October 8, when the Shiite militia group, which is based in Lebanon and backed by Iran, began its operations against Israel. In recent days, Hezbollah has continued its attacks on both IDF and civilian targets on Israel's northern border, claiming responsibility for 19 attacks. In response, the IDF has attacked Hezbollah targets in South Lebanon with artillery fire and airstrikes. Now, it's not yet clear where or how exactly this Hezbollah fighter, Nasser, died. But a notice posted on the Facebook page for Al Rahman Mosque in the South Sydney suburb of Kingsgrove says a memorial service will be held here in Australia, thousands of miles away, on Thursday evening. Sky News is told this line in Arabic refers to NASA as a martyr. Now, this mosque, Al Rahman, has form. It has already hosted at least two services in October, memorialising a number of other Hezbollah fighters. At one of these ceremonies, the Australian reported the Imam, Sheikh Yusuf Naba, told a packed crowd that three of the men were martyrs and he would not be deterred by any criticism by the media in continuing to commemorate the militants. He also reportedly told the congregants that Israel's attacks on Gaza was a plan to eradicate the Palestinian territories. Well, I have news for him. If that was the plan, this war would have been over on October 8. Israel certainly has the capability, just not the will. But back to this week's service. Sheikh Naba has clearly made good on that promise to continue commemorating terrorists. And Jewish groups are understandably deeply worried, as we all should be. The president of the Australian Jewish Association, Dr David Atlas, said of this latest event, all reasonable Australians should be shocked and concerned that we have a local community which appears to empathise with Hezbollah terrorists. Supporting a prescribed terrorist organisation is a crime and we call on counter-terrorism police to urgently investigate. The problem is authorities seem to be too hamstrung by our weak laws to do very much at all. New South Wales Police told me it is aware of this week's service and is monitoring. The Department of Home Affairs said in a statement, the Australian government is concerned about any promotion of terrorist organisations and that it urges communities in Australia to remain respectful. Premier Chris Minns is on leave, but a New South Wales government spokesperson told us anyone who's looking at holding a protest or commemoration service needs to be careful that they're not celebrating an organisation that's a pre prescribed terrorist organisation by the Commonwealth government. If for no other reason, then you may be breaching laws that are in place from the federal level. New South Wales Police will not tolerate hate speech or incitement to violence by any group in our state. Well, about those federal laws, the Federal Criminal Code Act doesn't mention whether commemorating a service for a member of a terror group would actually breach the act. It does make special mention that association with a terror group does not include family or that which occurs as part of public religious worship. So that seems to be a clear loophole. In budget estimates in October, the very question about whether a Hezbollah commemoration service can constitute an offence was put directly to AFP Deputy Commissioner Ian McCartney. His response? That the threshold is fairly high, but the federal police will, again that phrase, continue to monitor. 
Well, a fat lot of good that does the Australian public, alarmed by the idea of hundreds of mourners whipped up into supporting jihadism. Meantime, the mosque did not respond to a, comment, a request to comment, and this sheikh has previously called on the Premier to resign over his reaction to previous services. I'll be in the chair all week, and I promise we too here at Credlin will be monitoring.